So this air conditioner runs on battery or shore power and it's vented through the floor. Let me show you how that venting works. This is our divider wall. It goes in there like so. And it goes all the way to touch the back wall. So our fresh air is going to come in this bottom hole. The divider wall slants all over this way and touches here. So it's going to come up through this hole up here and get into the side of the cabinet there, the side of the air conditioner, pulled by the, the air conditioner's fan. Then the air is going to pass over the hot coils on the back of the air conditioner. There we go, blow down from there, down to there. You can see how all the hot air is forced down this path and out the van. And then fresh air comes in from this path over here, down there. And this wall prevents any of that fresh and hot air from mixing. Plastic base here, this is all gonna get caulked in. Waterproof the edges. Condensation won't run over any of these edges because it's gonna be dammed up and sealed, including the front edge here once the face goes on. All the condensation will go over this slope right here and down the slide. We have a nifty little metal slide. That's going to shoot everything straight out the invent. Air comes up through this hole in the floor. Condensation is going to slide down this track. Boom, right out the bottom of the van. We have waterproofed underneath the shelf. Put a plastic liner on top of the shelf. Stuck that down there while the waterproofing was all uh, still wet. So it's good and glued down extra sealed around this edge. We've got a good dam built up all the way around it so the water is definitely going to overflow. Condensation water that is, is definitely going to overflow this one spot every time. Even sloshing, turning corners, hitting the brakes, whatever, it's going to flow out there. And we're sealed real well and it will slide right down that tube and out the bottom of the van. So, now we're going to take the foam and place foam down in there for the back of the air conditioner to make too. This frame around here should meet up to this frame around the air conditioner. All right, so we've got the foam cushion in there that's going to give us an airtight seal, make sure all the hot air coming out the back of the air conditioner goes down the hole and out the van. The air conditioner cabinet doesn't touch the bed. This reduces vibration. We've got the box mounted to the floor and sealed with silicone. So we've got an airtight passage going in, into the side of the air conditioner, out the back of the air conditioner and down that other passage through the floor. Condensation that collects underneath here will gather on that plastic shelf. All right, I've sealed up the holes from underneath here to make sure we don't get any road splash under the floor or into the wood. Going to get some spray now to get up into that wood a little bit better. We've gooped this up pretty good with some lap sealant. It's not quite cured. Making sure we've got all the metal protected, all the wood floor protected. So the air conditioner installation is complete. Got all of our trim around it there. A little shoe box underneath it. Put a shelf in later. We'll just turn on the inverter. And then turn on the air conditioner. Oh, cool, hi, cool. And we're blowing cold air. Take a look underneath.
here's where the air goes in. Definitely feel a little bit of air moving. This is where it comes out. And yeah, that's already warm. That didn't take a minute to, to get started. Looking good. We have just a couple of AGM batteries and 305 watts of solar on the roof, so this isn't going to run all day on inverter. Let's go back here, make sure our shore power is untangled. That'll be enough for what we're doing. If you could hear that, it clicked over. As soon as I plugged that in, our automatic switch here switched over to the normal power source off of the backup. Now when I turn off the inverter, the backup light goes out. Easy peasy.